How is it that air, which is normally a good insulator, can be made to conduct electricity, either on a small scale, like this, or a rather larger scale, like this? To explain, the first thing to understand is all about electric fields. The two spheres drawn here have a positive and a negative charge, red for positive. The lines between them show the direction of the electric field. That is the direction of the force that would exist on a small positive charge between them. Where the lines are close together, the field is much stronger. The force on a negative charge, such as an electron, would be in the opposite direction. If instead of having spheres, we had two shapes like this with sharp points, the electric field between them would be much stronger. You can see that the lines are much closer together. And with these shapes, you are much more likely to get a spark. If the potential difference or voltage between these two points is high, let's consider what is likely to happen next. First of all, we'll just take away the field line so you can see better. Now, no matter where you are in the world, it's quite likely that some cosmic ray or background radiation would pass through, causing one of the molecules to ionise. That is, an electron is ejected, leaving a positive ion behind. The electron has a very small mass and it's in a strong electric field, so it will accelerate rapidly. In doing so, it will interact with other molecules, producing more electrons, which will also accelerate rapidly, producing an avalanche effect, and then a spark. If the potential difference between these two electrodes is very high, then it is possible for the spark to be initiated differently. Let's magnify this so we can imagine to see an individual molecule. I don't pretend for a moment that the molecule would actually look like this. This is just a sketch, a representation. It is possible that an intense electric field can strip an electron from the molecule, which, accelerating rapidly in this intense electric field, can start an avalanche. If the resistance of the current supply is small, then the continuous sparks will heat the air, producing so many ions that we will have an arc rather than a single spark. I hope that's useful. Thank you for watching.